I'm Tom Meeks, and this is 3D Design for Fun and Life, featuring Moment of Inspiration, using the uniquely easy noun and verb method. This session is Lines Noun Group. When we say we use a noun and verb method, we mean that we combine objects, nouns, with actions, verbs, made available to us in moment of inspiration through menu palettes or pads. There are four menu pads in moment of inspiration. The first menu pad contains all of the nouns we will use in moment of inspiration. Menu pad one has two tabs. The first is labeled draw curve. This is where we find our 2D nouns. If we click on Draw Curves, the menu pad expands to reveal buttons for accessing eight 2D noun drawing groups. The Lines Group button. Group 1 is Lines. The Lines Group is the detailed focus of this session. Moment of Inspiration provides us with two methods for drawing lines, a single line and polyline the line verb button. To make a single line, we click on the line verb button. The prompt says, pick start point. When we click anywhere in the view window, the prompt changes to pick end point. As we move the mouse, we see the potential line and we press the left mouse button to finalize the line. There is one option, both sides. When this is checked, the line extends out from the starting point in opposite directions. We can consecutively create lines by choosing to check the Repeat option directly under the Objects dialog box. Click on Cancel or uncheck the Repeat checkbox to end the Repeat function. The Polyline Verb Button A better way to create multiple line segments that connect is to choose the Polyline Verb Button. When we click on the Polyline Verb Button, the prompt says Pick Start Point. When we select the Start Point, the prompt says Pick Next Point. Each time we select a new point, we are prompted to select the next point. While we can click on Cancel to stop the process, we usually click on the starting point to end the process and create a closed curve. Most 3D operations for 3D printing rely on a curve being closed. We'll show you a project based entirely on the line noun. While rare, we can create 3D objects entirely from lines that are not closed curves. I learned this from one of my neurodiverse students who was captivated by creating designs consisting only of straight lines. Straight 2D lines cannot be printed on a 3D printer. So we needed to explore how we could help him turn his creative vision into a 3D printable object it turned out to be quite a fascinating quest. This tile example will rely completely on line nouns. In the top view, we'll first create a 40 millimeter rectangle boundary. We will check to make sure straight snap is turned on and use the repeat function to help us do the job more quickly and we'll rely on the distance and angle text boxes at the bottom of the Moment of Inspiration interface to ensure we form a perfectly squared rectangle. We select all the individual lines and use Edit Join to create a closed rectangle. We will create a new line starting at the origin and moving to the upper right corner of the rectangle. 
Then we'll use the transform move verb to relocate the line. Next, we will extrude the line to a height of 8 millimeters. We'll view it in the 3D view. This still cannot be 3D printed. Select the panel and return to the top view. Next, we will replicate this panel using Transform Array Circular with a value of 16. We will now use the Object Browser to select our surfaces. Open the Types tab and select the Surfaces type. We can now turn these faces into 3D objects that can be printed by applying the Extrude verb. We'll go to Construct, Extrude, select the Both Sides option, and enter a value of 0.5 millimeters and click OK. We need to trim the edges of our new 3D objects. Click on the rectangle and select Construct Offset and move to the outside with a large enough rectangle to enclose all of the 3D shapes. Using the Object Browser, select the Solids type. Click on Boolean Diff and select both of the rectangles and click on Done. We can now delete the original line and the outside rectangle. We'll use the rectangle we made from individual lines to form a tile background. We click on Extrude, turn off the Both Sides checkbox, and enter a value of 5 and click on OK. Using the Object Browser, Again, select all of the solids and click on Boolean Union. Our tile is complete. And the only 2D noun we needed to create this tile was the individual line noun. We can apply fillet. and replicate four times using Array Circular to see how the tiles might look when mounted together. As you can imagine, our student was very happy when we came up with a solution to turn his 2D lines vision into a 3D object that could be printed. This is 3D Design for Fun and Life, 3D Design Courseware based on Moment of Inspiration by Tom Meeks. Lines are a very important noun group in Moment of Inspiration. While rare, some projects can be based entirely on lines to create our 3D designs. Be sure to check out the Freeform Line Group as well to see how all the line nouns complement each other.